Showcase schools, sharing, promising, practices. Play is work for children. It is their creativity, it is their language. And when you walk into a classroom where there's no play, then the invention that's theirs is not present as well. There's lots of research that shows that depriving children of play is really stunting their development. So the question is not, aren't you taking away from learning by letting them play? I think the question is, aren't you preventing their development by not allowing them to play? You learn so much of how to navigate life. And without navigating life, you can't navigate school. If you're ready for Work time, pick at least two choices. It's time to look at our work time chart and think about what area do you want to work in today? But we're going to pick more than one choice. Where do you want to work today? I want to work in writing. Kids have choice about what to read and choice about what to write. But the choice of what materials to use, where to work, Gee, I have work time tomorrow. Let's see, what am I going to do? Painting will be at table two. Please get your table ready. I remember there was blocks and there was water play. And let me think, what would be my first choice? What would be my second choice? This is planning for life. I think this is gonna be an interesting lesson in space, don't you? Work time is materials exploration where children can use materials thoughtfully and bring their own ideas. They make their own choices. It's open-ended. From the very beginning, when we're asking children to make decisions about where they want to work, they're really thinking about a place where they're going to be engaged, which right away, once a child is engaged, naturally tons of language will flow from that. You never hold a classroom before? I pulled it thousand times. OK, then you can drop it. You have to catch it. So Naya and Amanda stay next to him because if he gets nervous, he needs one of you to support him. Can you let go of the vehicle for just one minute? Seriously? How much? Wait, that's one more, one more game. Work time gives them the opportunity in the school every day where they can have these conversations with their peers and really develop language. This is what they're going to be doing for the rest of their lives. The great white shark. You want to look at it with me? Yeah. Maybe a lesson that all of us can learn is learning that when we disagree with someone, we still have to be respectful and kind. It goes a lot further than saying you have to share. Okay, it's work. What's happening? Is it hard for you all to fit in the space? Yeah. There's like people bumping around. Anya, you might want to think about how there can be less people inside and how everybody gets a turn inside. People should be like outside and watch the show too. So Anya is saying that if you're a presenter with this paper that maybe you should be outside the structure and watch the show. How do you feel about that? So you have five minutes to get this resolved if you want to do this today or you have tomorrow to work on it too. That is one of the unique things about work time. The messy is celebrated. They have an idea, the children in the block area, that they've been trying to execute. They had a story in their mind that was harder to communicate. Presenting the show of Anya and the Osmond. And they're not done. And it's not mine to solve for them. Let's take a time out. Let's give you some feedback. You have your props, you have your setting. What you need is a script. You know what a script is? Yeah. yeah. It's so, like the words that like you know word word to say when you practice. So you know what? You've got one more day to write a script and perform a play, yeah? Okay. Got it. Even though we don't have a whole lot of pieces, the kids build really elaborate structures. Maybe they could be like this. And through that, we're talking a lot about geometry. We're talking a lot about balance. They describe the shapes, and that's geometry and math happening indirectly through their play. 
as adults we sort of develop into perfectionists in our own way and children have this sense of not looking at the end product but just going with the flow. That is a really big piece to me that I would want them to walk away with. They started either a bakery or a restaurant and they took a class list, which we always have access to in the paper tray, so you could decide if you wanted sprinkles and they start to make tallies. So again, math is happening there. They're doing a lot of counting, figuring out who's going to make how many of this type and who's making the other. There's a lot of teamwork that goes into it. This one. There's many tools there for them to explore and bring to the water table. Tyler was really grappling with and thinking about sinking and he didn't quite have the language for sink yet and he first thought of it about pouring water onto it and he used the word power. So much power. So Where does it get the power? From the water. Valentina was exploring with different cups and then together the two of them engaged in different talks about what was happening. I feel very committed to having young people feel an excitement of, of what learning is and what work is. I would hope that every child at this age could feel so brave to try new things and to not be afraid to fail, that they could carry that on with them throughout their lives. And that opportunity to be in a school and be able to use your mind to create and then add to that the possibility to work with a friend or two friends and listen to each other and create together is just amazing. We don't have much of that in life. And if you start out in the early grades, imagine the possibilities.